Hi everyone. Today we're going to be looking at how to program PLC input debounce on and off. Programming an input to debounce on and off can be done using logical control systems like a PLC or programmable logic controller. This process helps to ensure the accuracy of the signals sent to and from PLCs and eliminate noise interference. We will program an input to debounce on and off in a PLC in several ways. Using the Productivity Suite PLC programming software, we will demonstrate the ladder logic using the simulator. This allows us to write, test, and modify our program without actually having hardware. Let's get started. Detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you at video 1. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. So what is a PLC input bounce? Bounce or chatter usually occurs with PLC inputs. An input switch bounce is an electrical phenomena commonly occurring when a button or switch is activated. When the switch contact initially touches, they physically bounce back and forth for a few milliseconds, causing multiple on-off cycles to occur quickly. This can cause issues with your electronics setup if not accounted for, as it may register false inputs or misinterpret the intended action of the switch. This action can also take place when the input turns off. When designing circuits that use switches or buttons, you can often include program circuitry to filter out these bounces and ensure that your device registers only one action. What is ladder logic chatter? Chatter can also occur within the ladder logic if various logic conditions have been programmed that cause the output result to alter every other logic scan for a short period. If the result is used to control an output module wired to a real world device such as the coil of a motor starter, then the motor starter will possibly chatter, causing damage to the motor starter's contacts. PLC input filter times. Some programmable logic controllers will have filter times that can be changed. The time and frequency can be set longer than the input chatter. This ensures that the program will only see a single transition from off to on or on to off. Here are the default input filter times for the Brix Do More PLC. You can learn more about this PLC controller at the following link. Debounce Coil, DBN Instruction. The Productivity Suite has a debounce coil or DBN instruction. This solves the problem by allowing you to program an adjustable off to on delay time and an adjustable on to off time delay. The time delay values are set in millisecond values. The value chosen should be longer than the time the chatter occurs. This is the programmable logic diagram or PLD or ladder logic programming code. We will be using the first input on our PLC simulator. However, a real world example would be a pressure switch used to control the digital input from a pump. Test the debounce PLC ladder logic circuit. Using the data view in the Productivity Suite programming software, we can test this circuit using the simulator. Using an on-delay timer for debounce. Your controller may not have a debounce coil instruction. In this case, we can make a debounce PLC circuit using an on-delay timer. The on-delay timer will have an input rung. This rung must be logically true for the timer's duration before the output turns on. Individual on-delay timers are used for both the input on and off state. The output is set if the input is on and the timer is on. The output is reset if the input is off and the timer is on. As you can see, this ladder logic circuit is very effective and relatively easy to understand. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.